In a groundbreaking revelation, the United States Air Force unveiled an awe-inspiring image that shows the remarkable prowess of an F-15 fighter jet. This cutting-edge aircraft, armed with an extraordinary laser weapon pod, possesses an incredible capacity to intercept and destroy incoming missiles. The momentous announcement arrived with the aerospace company Lockheed Martin disclosing that it had successfully delivered at least one of these groundbreaking weapons to the Air Force for rigorous testing. This monumental endeavor forms an integral part of the ever-evolving strategic plans to deploy cutting-edge laser-armed fighter jets capable of engaging not only enemy missiles, but potentially other deadly targets. Laser weapons have received a lot of attention recently. Their capacity to remove at the speed of light and overcome the constraints imposed by wind, gravity, and other external factors impacting projectile trajectories make them game changers in military operations. Furthermore, laser guns provide many advantages, including unlimited ammunition, enhanced accuracy, a lower cost per shot, and a smaller logistic footprint. A recent report from the Pentagon's top scientists dives into the revolutionary potential of laser weapons in future military undertakings. This report highlights the futuristic weapons speed of light engagement, precise control over effects, large magazines, cost efficiency, and covert operations capabilities. Furthermore, laser weapons can limit collateral damage, which increases their popularity in combat circumstances. The revealed image captures the F-15 wind tunnel model, demonstrating the pod's securely mounted position on the aircraft centerline. The delicate aerodynamics of this innovative integration are vividly depicted, with the fascinating flow disruptions generated by the pod seemingly blending with the surrounding air. In March, the 716th Test Squadron received a pioneering aero-optical test capability from Arnold Engineering Development Complex. This unique capability has engaged engineers to meticulously analyze and evaluate the dynamic behavior of laser energy in different flight settings, paving the way for continuous improvement to its performance. A significant revelation published today by Breaking Defense confirmed that Lockheed Martin successfully delivered its cutting-edge Lance high-energy laser weapon to the United States Air Force in 2022. Lance is an acronym for Laser Advancements for Next Generation Compact Environments, which precisely encapsulates the innovative nature of this revolutionary weaponry. The Air Force Research Laboratory, widely regarded as a powerhouse charged with the creation and flawless integration of new technology in space, air, and cyberspace areas is the recipient of this new weapon. Tyler Griffin, a distinguished executive at Lockheed Martin, expressed his excitement to the media by describing Lance as the embodiment of a technological marvel. Griffin specifically stated that Lance is the smallest and lightest high-energy laser ever built by Lockheed Martin, showing the apex of their remarkable achievements to date. Griffin pointed out that Lance is only one-sixth the size of a previously developed directed energy weapon designed by Lockheed Martin for the U.S. Army. This previous laser technology, a vital component of the legendary robust electric laser initiative program, had an astounding output in the 60 kilowatt range. Though the precise power capabilities of Lance remain a mystery, some suggest that its potential may lie below the massive threshold of 100 kilowatts. Aside from its tiny size and lightweight nature, Lance has lower power requirements than its predecessors, coinciding with the crucial considerations required for a fighter-based laser. This remarkable feature allows Lance to be mounted on a pod, an awe-inspiring testament to modern engineering miracles. Should Lance complete its significant defensive objective, this weapon could shape the development of additional laser armaments especially suited for offensive purposes. These future laser weapons could potentially engage enemy aircraft and drones over vast ranges, far exceeding the limitations encountered when targeting rapidly approaching anti-aircraft missiles, whether launched from the ground or enemy aircraft. 
Notably, Lance is the spectacular result of a contract awarded in November 2017 as an integral part of the Air Force's massive self-protect high-energy laser demonstrator, SHIELD program. Lance, a manifestation of the SHIELD program, clearly represents a revolutionary defensive system meticulously designed to protect aircraft from all kinds of menacing air-to-air and surface-to-air missiles. This program, led by the Air Force Research Lab, has attracted the expertise of prestigious contractors such as Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman. The SHIELD pod has a triad of integral subsystems, each of which is important in its breakthrough functioning. These components are the pod, the laser and the beam control. The AEDC received the pod in February, while the other two remarkable subsystems were planned to adorn the technological world in 2023. The SHIELD pod system will be thoroughly tested in 2024. The actual reason for the delay is still unknown, but AFRL has already acknowledged the enormous technical problems connected with intercepting supersonic missiles with a directed laser energy. The SHIELD program has reached significant milestones in recent years, demonstrating its unwavering pursuit of excellence. Notable accomplishments include the successful flight of an F-15 outfitted with a laser test pod and blowing up air-launched missiles through the smooth operation of a ground-based system creatively constructed to imitate the laser system's self-protective features. Indeed, despite its astounding mechanical prowess, the SHIELD pod serves mainly as a technology demonstrator. Unfortunately, this means it will not be formally integrated into active service. However, its presence paves the way for laser weapons that will protect aging Air Force fighters like the F-15 and F-16, and esteemed weaponry like tankers and surveillance aircraft from the ever-present threat posed by missile threats looming on the horizon. Kent Wood, acting head of AFRL's Directed Energy Directorate, stressed the revolutionary nature of the SHIELD subsystems, saying they are the most compact and capable laser weapon technology created to date. However, it is vital to note that AFRL's actual testing phase is still in its early stages, primarily focusing on mission utility analysis and wargaming studies. The outcome of these current investigations will determine which precise targets will be used for future tests and demonstrations. In a related development, Lockheed's Tyler Griffin revealed the future integration of Lance with a thermal system that effectively manages the heating and cooling aspects. The aircraft intended to equip Lance during test flights and probable aerial fire experiments remains unknown. However, different applications and platforms are being considered for prospective demonstrations and tests. Lockheed Martin's previous concept image depicted the pod being carried by an F-16 fighter jet serving as a first step toward SHIELD's goal of demonstrating active defensive capabilities for fighter jets operating in high-risk areas. Surprisingly, officials have considered adopting this technology for combat support aircraft and larger, slower-moving combat aircraft. In a separate effort, Boeing conducted ground tests on board an Air Force F-15 fighter using a pre-prototype pod shape devoid of internal subsystems. Notably, the Demonstrator Laser Weapon System, DLWS, a sample laser, demonstrated remarkable performance by intercepting multiple air-launched missiles over New Mexico's White Sands missile range. Although the initial test platform for the entire SHIELD system will not happen until appropriate financing is secured, a flight demonstration is on the horizon. However, no formal transition strategy to integrate Lance and SHIELD into an official program of record has been made. The timeline for these significant advances remains uncertain, as AFRL has yet to decide on the scheduling of airborne experiments. Looking back, AFRL first announced plans in late 2017 to conduct laser testing on tactical fighter jets by 2021. Subsequently, 
Lockheed Martin stated in 2020 that it intended to deploy lasers on tactical aircraft by 2025. However, due to unforeseen problems connected to technical complexities and disruptions caused by the COVID pandemic, the Air Force has delayed the flight testing of potted laser weapons by two years, pushing the time frame to 2023. In the interim, Air Force pilots have been engaging in simulated missions involving podded airborne laser weapons within a virtual reality battlefield environment. This initiative is part of the broader efforts of the Air Force to develop virtual testing environments for the advancement of weapon systems. The primary objective of the SHIELD program is to demonstrate the potential of a podded laser defense system, which could eventually serve as a valuable addition to existing countermeasures like chaff, infrared flares, and electronic warfare systems. Nevertheless, laser weapons confront numerous obstacles and limitations in fighter aircraft. To overcome atmospheric disturbances and efficiently inflict harm on their intended targets, these weapons require extreme power levels and unwavering beams. Also, they are subject to different countermeasures, such as smoke, dust, fog, rain, snow, smog, foam, or obscure chemicals capable of weakening or scattering the laser beam. To make things even more complex, lasers can only engage with one target at a time, meaning their use would be more likely to supplement rather than replace existing decoys and countermeasures. In the past, a substantial and comprehensive examination of the varied ramifications of laser weaponry in future battlegrounds was conducted, clearly demonstrating that these instruments are far from an all-encompassing solution for all combat scenarios. Their best performance comes from short-range self-defense missions that target low-flying or slow-moving entities with pressurized components and fragile exterior casings. When confronted with long-range or high-altitude adversaries with tough exteriors or ablative coatings, their effectiveness becomes significantly reduced. The search for laser weapons has spread beyond the United States Air Force and into other military branches. The US Navy, for instance, has taken the plunge by deploying laser weapon systems onto some of its vessels, while the US Army is testing a laser weapon mounted on a truck to neutralize airborne drones. The US Space Force, ever the pioneers, delves into the possibilities of space-based laser weaponry for missile defense, seeking to extend their dominance beyond Earth's confines. Although laser weapons are currently extensively researched, they stand as a great contender in future warfare. The US Air Force's SHIELD program is diligently seeking to achieve a groundbreaking leap in airborne laser technology by 2024. Should SHIELD triumph in its noble quest, a gateway shall open to a new era of laser weaponry, strengthening the United States air supremacy and reinforcing its deterrent capabilities. While the exact degree of progress in overcoming past technological obstacles remains a mystery, the recent advent of Lance earlier this year unquestionably signifies a momentous milestone in the realization of a fully operational laser weapon system integrated seamlessly into fighter aircraft. And that brings us to the end of this video. Let us know if you enjoyed this video, and as always, keep exploring.